guys, so um, I gotta go out to my hair appointment right now, so um, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of in a rush because I need to get out to my hair appointment, but um, today's a Wednesday and I'm going for my hair appointment, so. Okay, so I've just got a haircut right now, wow look at that blue lighting, oh it's green now, but yeah I've got a haircut and it looks kind of good, I'll show you properly but I know you can't really see it properly because of the lighting, but I'll show you guys properly when I get back, but. Now I need to go shopping now. By shopping, I mean I'm gonna to go to Lidl because Lidl's quite close here. Okay, I may not have many choices here, but there's so many choices here. Like, I can't even decide. Like, I am obsessed with the Lidl bakery. I think I might get some cookies. I'm trying to the brownies because I'm obsessed with the brownies, but it doesn't look like there's any brownies in. Oh. Okay, so I'm back now and. You can like properly see my hair, so I like this hair, it looks much more better, like it's less sort of messy and busy, it's uh, it looks good, so now I'm off to edit a video. Oh, and I also went to Little as well and got these cookies, because who doesn't love the stuff from the bakery, like I feel like Little Bakery over other bakeries are like, I don't know, but they're the best, but um, yeah, I feel so sick right now because I had this like chicken and garlic pasta for tea which was delicious but oh my god it's so filling like I am full and I just feel like I want to die right now so uh, yeah but I need to edit a vlog right now and I also made a quick video last night as well for my main channel which you need to edit so um the quick video in question um is quite a boring video so you'll be very excited to see that but um yeah I just want to kind of I don't know what this vlog's becoming, but I just wanted to do a little vlog and chat and talk about how, I don't know, um, I don't know, it makes sense. Okay, okay y'all, so I did not vlog yesterday, so I'm doing like a combined kind of vlog, so right now I think I'm hopefully going to make a carbonara because I love carbonara, so um, that's what I'm making for tea because I need to use this rigatoni pasta thing which I've for ages, so that's what I'm doing right now, so. Okay, so the carbonara recipe I'm using right now is I'm using this rigatoni pasta, so this should be enough pasta for one person. I'm then using one egg yolk, 50 grams of parmesan cheese, and then you kind of mix it together into a carbonara kind of thing, I don't know, but um, I know how to do it, so. Uh, yeah, I've used the recipe before actually, and it's not exactly the creamy carbonara that people mostly have, but I actually don't really like creamy stuff anyway, so this actually works out perfect for me, because it's still like carbonara, but just not as creamy as the other carbonaras, because the other carbonaras you like apply cream to, and it makes it like nice and creamy, but I'm not really like that, but like I like my parmesan like not creamy, so um, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I've got some pasta, just um, cooking away in the corner, I've got some bacon lard in here, so that's going to be frying up, and that'll then add to the carbonara, so making like a cheese and bacon pasta carbonara, and I've got the carbonara mix here, which last time I did this, it tasted gorgeous, like, it's not as creamy as the other parmesans that people normally cook, but it's my type of um, good, so. Okay, well I think I might have just slightly burnt the bacon lardons a bit, but I know it's a kind of little matter, but I'm trying for a pasta to cook right now. Then what I'll do next is I'll put the, I'll empty the pasta water, but keep some of it to mix in with the pasta and stuff, and then I'll um, mix the bacon and parmesan thing in, and then we should be good to go. Not the last, so here's what it's supposed to look like, so. I just added some salt and pepper into that thing and it looks really good so you can kind of see where I slightly burnt the bacon and by slightly I mean I really burnt the bacon but well um so yeah it looks actually really good. I want to say add pasta water, I don't mean like add like a cup of it, you're only supposed to add like a bit of pasta water in it because you want it to be watery like you're supposed to add the balance of adding pasta water but not like making it too watery. So I added around about I think around about a teaspoonful and that should do, so I then mix in the bacon lardons in and the cheese and um, parmesan thing and it makes a good pasta so um, yeah I'm going to insert it onto my plate right now and then we should be good to go. Okay so I've just finished my carbonara, that was honestly really good, like I loved it so I'm right now making some hot chocolate right now. So I am on the last of the hot chocolate thing which I got for Christmas so for Christmas I got this like luxury like hot chocolate thing, my luxury, it's like this like Cadbury's hot chocolate thing, but it's so nice and 
I bought all these like creams and marshmallows to go over it and stuff, but I used the last one today, so I'm gonna have to either buy some more of that thing or use hot chocolate I also got as well, so but you have a hot chocolate, you just apply water to it and mix it and it's like a basic hot chocolate, whereas this one's like much more nicer. Okay, okay I just realised I have no whipped cream because I had to throw away the whipped cream because it was out of date, so no whipped cream this time, but um, yeah, like I said, this hot chocolate is like a Cadbury's one and it tastes so freaking good. Like I am obsessed, so you just you, you just apply milk to the size, so you just like apply milk. So you just put milk in it and put it in the microwave for two minutes and it makes the most gorgeous hot chocolate ever. Alright, so I'm here now with my cup of hot chocolate, so I love hot chocolate. Hmm. Yes, this is the one thing I love about this hot chocolate. It's like so like rich and sweet but not too sweet. I feel like with chocolate sometimes it can be or any kind of dessert actually. There's desserts which are way too sweet, which I don't like, and then there's like desserts which are like not sweet but also really sweet as well, like just right. So that's the desserts I like. And then there's obviously desserts which are not sweet and are bitter, but I like, I don't know, it has to be just right, and this is the just right. Delicious. I don't know what to talk about today, um, or tonight even, because it's like half eight right now. Um. I don't know what to talk about really, um, except for the fact that I need to um, edit a um, video. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And um, yeah, I'm um, just doing a lateral flow test, came back negative. I don't know, I cannot be the only person who still hasn't had COVID. Like, over the last two years, I have been in contact with so many people. Or the or some people who later tested positive, and I still haven't tested positive yet. Like, I don't know. Am I just built different? Like, I don't know. Am I just never gonna get COVID? Because, yeah, I, like there's been so many people who've caught COVID, especially right now because of obviously Omicron and all that, and I've still not caught it yet. So, anyways, like it's good. Like I'm not complaining about it. Like. It's good that I haven't catched it, but I just find it quite fascinating. And yes, I am licking um, the side of this cup because I spilt a bit of thing here. Like, I feel like when I make hot chocolate, like, it's not me making hot chocolate without, like, really violently stirring it. And then, like, bits of hot chocolate just drips from the side and messes up um, the whole thing. But anyway, so, didn't have any way... I didn't have any whipped cream because there was no whipped cream because um, the whipped cream was out of date so I had to throw that out. Then there's no marshmallows either so it's just my hot chocolate. But yeah I'm going to call this quits now with this vlog because there's nothing else really to vlog about so I hope you guys liked watching this vlog. Um, I'm going to vlog again tomorrow hopefully, who knows. And then um, yeah but for me, I hope you guys are having the greatest day ever for me, and I shall see you guys whenever I see you. Okay, bye. Oh, and also before you go, hmm? okay, now I said I was going to leave it there for the vlog, but I wanted to show you something, so I've been collecting my negative lateral flow tests, so hmm? there's like six of them right now, so I kind of wanted to start a collection of all my negative lateral flow tests for some reason, because... I saw this person make like a gingerbread castle thing with them and being creative with them. So I kind of want to, um, I saw people even make like lateral flow test earrings. So I kind of want to be creative. So I've been kind of like collecting these lateral flow tests for quite a while now. And so yeah, you can see here they're all negative. So yeah, there's no positivity going on here. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was incredibly stupid and I just wanted to show you guys that. And yes, I nearly just burped them. Wow. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to leave you guys right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, leave the video. But yeah, I'm going to um, uh, finish the video. But yeah, I'm going to end the video now. So, um, bye.